Now, this is an excellent question on trig equation where we have to write the equation. Okay, now we are talking about water wheels. Okay, now uh, let's read the question. The second water wheel has a diameter of 1.8 meters. The axle is mounted 0.35 meters above the surface of water. So I've drawn the axis. So this is your x axis where you've taken t. Okay, I, I need to read the whole question. This water wheel also rotates at a constant speed and completes five revolutions in a, in a minute. That is, so 60, okay, 60 seconds. Okay, the height above the water surface h meters of a point q on the surface of a, on the, circum, on the circumference of this wheel t minutes after midday can be modeled on the on the following trigonometric function h is equal to this which is a cos b t plus c where a b c are constant you need to find a b c and hence find the height of point q when it is 30 minutes after midday okay now when you think of a wheel so let me draw a wheel to explain what i mean suppose if you think of a wheel so well, this is a wheel okay and uh, let's draw the ground say so this is the ground imagine a point on the wheel an arbitrary point p now this point imagine this wheel is rotating okay this is say the axle this is the center and this is the radius okay now if you think of this wheel suppose this is really steady and it's only rotating uh, this is an axle this goes along the, uh, this point this if you think about the height of point p above the ground okay so that can be modeled with a trig function so when this point is at here you can say that the height is zero we're talking about h which is height of point p above the ground so this is your ground I'll, from this, I'll come back to this. So when it is here, this is where you get the maximum. Suppose the, the radius is, say, whatever, two units. Okay. So at this point, when this point comes here, it is at the maximum height above the ground, which would be four units. Okay. So from year to year, the distance would be positive. That means it's going above the ground and away from the ground. Now, after this point, the height, which is h, would become negative because it is coming towards the ground and getting nearer the ground. So this this distance would be negative of this. I'm talking about h of point p above the ground. So it starts at zero, reaches the maximum, then comes back to zero. So that's a trig function. I hope you can relate this with a trick function so in other words what i'm trying to tell you is this is this is your amplitude okay if you consider this as the baseline if you consider this as the baseline this is your maxima okay this is your maxima and this is your minimum are you able to relate so and this is your baseline so this is your the radius is not nothing but the amplitude Okay, so this is the baseline, and you reach the maximum, and then you, you're coming towards the ground. Okay, I hope I'm able to relate it. So in other words, here the radius is 0 0.9 meters, okay, and that tells me the amplitude, which is A here, A is 0 0.9 meters. I hope I have not confused you more. If you think about a wheel, imagine a wheel which is... Uh, steady which is fixed and it's rotating and you think of a point p and you're talking about the this point we're talking about the height of point p above the ground so that will be a trigonometric function so in other words it, uh, a is 0 0.9 units now c what does it say it is the axle is 0.35 meters above the ground so this is this is this is the axle, yeah? So the axle is 0.35 meters above the ground means your baseline is 
3.5 meters above the water level. So your, in other words, your C is given to be 0 0.35. Let me change color. Okay. So now, what else do we know? This is five revolutions. Five revolutions in say 60 seconds. Am I right? In a minute. So in one revolution takes how many seconds? So let me write this because you want to write this in minutes. Yeah, in T minutes, not in seconds. So let me write that as one minute. One minute. So one revolution would take uh, one fifth of a minute. Am I making sense? If five revolution takes five minutes, sorry, five revolutions takes one minute, one revolution would take one fifth of a minute. Okay, so your period, your period is, so let me write here, I don't have the space, so let me write here, period is one fifth of a minute. One fifth of a minute is how many? That is 12, uh, yeah, 12 seconds. So in 12 seconds, this is one complete revolution. But we want to write in minutes, so I'll leave this in minute. Now, the formula of B, or the formula of period, I'll write only P, is 2 pi divided by B. B is the coefficient of the variable. So if I write one fifth, one, I'm, uh, let me delete this for a while. Okay, so this is period, I'll write, rewrite period. This is the formula. It's two pi divide, or 360 divided by uh, B, which is the coefficient. So we want to find B, so we know the period. So one fifth is equal to two pi over B. So if you cross multiply, I hope you understand, b is nothing but 10 pi. b is nothing but 10 pi. Okay, so let me write. So your equation will become, let me again change color, red color. So here you got a, b, and c. So equation is h is equal to 0 0.9 cos. 10 pi t plus 0 0.35. So let me first draw the curve. So this is your baseline, this is your maximum, and this is your minimum. Now you've got a cost graph. So this is your baseline. This is 0. Point, this is 0 0.35, which is your baseline. What's your amplitude? Your amplitude is 0. Point, nine meters. So let me use a calculator. Uh, 0 0.35 plus 0 0.9, 0 0.9 is 1.25. So this is 1.25. So in other words, the axle, or sorry, the wheel, point Q, goes 1.25 meters above the ground, above the water level. So what's your water level? This is your water level, okay? So x-axis, this is your water level too. Or this is your water level, which is your x-axis. On x-axis, you have taken the time. Time in min minutes after midday. Okay, and this is the height that point Q reaches above the water level. Okay, so now, so what will be the minimum? Minimum is? Minimum is baseline minus, so, so what's the amplitude? Amplitude, this is amplitude of 0 0.9. So 0 0.35, 0 0.35 minus 0 0.9, which is negative 0 0.55. So negative 0 0.55 only means that it is going 0 0.55 meters below the water level. Okay. So now cost starts at the at the maximum. So let me use black here. So cost always starts at maximum. It's the oh now I have to do the four divisions. You got 
uh, one revolution is one fifth of a minute. So let me divide this into four equal parts. So one, two, three, four. So this is one fifth of a minute. Now half of one fifth of a minute is one tenth of a minute. Okay. And half of one tenth is one twentieth of a minute. So this is a scale of one twentieth of a minute. This is two twenty, which is one tenth. And this is three twenty. And this is four twenty, which is one fifth. Okay. So this is an excellent question. It's not that easy to understand. So the maximum then hits the baseline in one twentieth of a minute. Okay. Uh, then it reaches the minima. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, baseline minimum at this point. Then again, at this point it reaches the baseline and now uh, it reaches back there. So let me use a different color again. Say violet. Okay, so the curve would look like this. We'll confirm this on a calculator. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, it's right. Okay. Now the question is, find A, B, C. We have found A, B, and C. And, fi and hence, find the, find the height of point Q when it is 30 minutes after uh, the midday. So, 30 minutes is how many cycles? So you have, so let me confirm this on a calculator. So let's write menu, uh, graph, okay, and then let me type in, now uh, what was the equation? 0 0.9 cos uh, 10 pi, sorry, 10 shift pi x, okay. Uh, bracket plus 0 0.35. Okay, now your scale has to go from, your x value has to go from 0 to 1 fifth. Okay, so go from 0 to 1 out of 5. Okay, and this is 120. The step scale is 120. So you go 1 divided by 20. Don't change the dot. I want to go from say minus one, your y value. I will go from my because this is minus 0 0.55. So I'll go from minus one to two. Scale of 0.5 would do. And let's check whether the graph is right. Here we go. Okay. So this is the graph. Okay. Uh, we didn't have to draw the graph. Now the question is, when it is 30 minutes after midday. So we know that one period takes how many? One period takes how many minutes? Takes one-fifth of a minute. One-fifth of a minute. Okay. So in 30 minutes, in 30 minutes, in 30 minutes, it's how many periods? Okay, so, okay, in 30 minutes, how many cycles will be, okay, so how can we do now? One fifth minute is one period, so in 30 minutes, you will uh, do how many cycles? Okay, that would be 30 uh, times, or 30 divided by one fifth, 30 divided by one-fifth, which is 30 times 5. So there will be 150 cycles, or 150 cycles of period. Okay. So, that will be exactly, if it is 150 cycles, it starts at the maximum. Find the height of point Q when it is 30 minutes after. So 30 minutes, it will be exactly at 1.5 meters above the water level. So the answer for this would be 1.25 meters above the water level. So let me go over this again. So what I'm saying is, 
one period needs one fifth of a minute. Okay, so 30 minutes. If one fifth of a minute has one period, in 30 minutes it will be the 150th cycle. Okay, it will be the exactly 150th cycle, and a cost curve starts at the maximum. So if you go at the starting point, I think it would be at the uh, one, uh, one, 1.25 meters. So I've got the answers here. Let's check whether the answer is right. This is question number. Yeah, here we go. I'll show you. This is the marking schedule, and this is the answer. The height is one point. Uh, this is the answer from the marking schedule of 2010. So the equation is right, and this is your height. Hopefully, this is one of the longest videos that I have made. See you in the next video.